Hey guys, welcome to my channel. It's Lee with Skin Beautiful RX. I'm a licensed esthetician. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of my current favorites. I haven't done a favorites video in quite a while because I'm kind of a creature of habit, but I did find a few things that I've been using for quite a few months that I wanted to share with you because I love them, so I'm hoping you guys will love them too. So the first couple things I wanted to talk about are actually hair care. I love all things beauty, so that means skincare, makeup, perfume, and definitely hair care. I change the way I look a lot. I'm sure just looking at my last videos, like I put a video out every week and I feel like I look different in every single one of them. But that's because I also, I own a spa, but I also own a hair salon, so I can really like switch it up a lot and I do I have a lot of fun um, you know working so I definitely have to make sure that I'm using really good hair care products so I don't completely fry it and then I'm bald so these products I use every day and they make a huge difference and allow me to kind of be like really versatile and you know play around with my hair as much as I do I actually just showed this on my Instagram the other day, and I'm trying to think what it was. I think it was yesterday. Um, so this is the Kevin Murphy Young Again Dry Shampoo or Dry Conditioner. I don't use dry shampoo because I have naturally curly, thick, coarse hair, and my hair just never gets oily. Um, but it does get super dry and very prone to breakage. So I use this conditioner. It's the same thought like process, and it's great for somebody who can't use an oil. I can use an oil. I can use an oil right on my scalp. I can just saturate my hair in oil and have no issues. But a lot of people are afraid to use oils because they're afraid it'll lay heavy or make their hair greasy. If you're one of those people, but you still need to keep your hair like healthy um, so it doesn't break off, I highly recommend a dry conditioner instead because you can use this without having to worry about it being really, really heavy or like ruining your hair and you'll needing you know to wash it more often. Um, the next one, and we also don't carry this brand in our salon, but I love this brand. I've loved every product that WOW has, um, that WOW has. Like, I've tried a lot of their products, and I really loved them. This is their Mystical Shine Spray. Like I said, I change my hair a lot, but um, I feel like when I go blonde, it only stays really bright for not that long. So I use this and it helps me kind of not have to put as much blonde in as often. So what this does is their mystical shine spray and it attracts the light to your hair and reflects it. So it makes me feel brighter and blonder more often, like longer than I am when I don't use it. So I thought this was a really cool product and it actually works. So I spray this every single morning um, just to feel brighter and to not completely bleach every piece of hair off my head as often and then lastly and probably the most important and this is just a travel because I actually keep this in my purse and I spray it a lot um, is the Kerastase this is their one of their newer products is the Serum Chroma Thermique and this is not only like an anti-aging treatment for the hair it's a leave-in conditioner but it's also an antioxidant treatment so just like when we put antioxidants on our skin um, and it helps it you know fight off pollution. This does the same exact thing, not only for the scalp, but the hair strand. So you're keeping your hair healthier, it's keeping it hydrated, and it's keeping it um, safe from pollution. So I use this, it smells amazing. I use this every single day just to make my hair one stay healthy it smells good but it actually is very anti-aging for the hair so this again has lactic acid has santella i love santella i talk about it in a lot of skincare videos and i think it's so cool that um it's in this product to help keep my hair young vibrant like my skin the next two products are perfume the first one if you are somebody and i have a lot of perfumes i never thought i'd be a perfume person i don't know i just thought that was very like I don't know, grandma of me, uh, if I wanted to wear a perfume, and now I'm obsessed. I cannot leave my house without a perfume on and like drenched in it. Um, so you can smell me coming for sure, sorry. Um, but I really love the City of Stars, it's by Louis Vuitton. 
This is a really powerful citrus scent. Um, it has like under notes of sandalwood, but it's very citrusy. It's very like bouncy and bright. It has uh, blood orange and lemon too, so it's very like zingy. I don't know, I really, really like it. It's just a really playful scent. And then my friend Stephanie Letta, who is actually a YouTuber, you've probably heard of her, she's amazing, um, very good friend of mine. This is actually her new perfume, and I'm so excited for her. This, um, she's just like a total doll, like she's the sweetest person. Um, and this is her new scent, and it smells amazing. Now this is a much warmer, like captivating scent to keep this in our restroom at work so anybody can use it so when they go in and they always spray it of course because if you see a perfume sitting there like what are you gonna do you have to use it um, and everybody loves this so you know a lot of things smell differently on different people but everybody's loved this so far and I really feel like it's because it's so warm and all of the scents it is just very like pleasing to everybody's palate. So it also has notes of sandalwood like this one, but it's not citrusy. So this actually has jasmine, it has pink pepper, and pear leaf. So it's a lot more of a calmer scent, and it really smells so warm and so inviting. So if you are more of like a really loud smell, you're going to love this one. Very citrusy and bright, and then very warm and soft and inviting. You're going to love Stephanie's new scent. As I mentioned, I love all things beauty, and the next couple of things I'm going to talk about is makeup. I feel so bad because the last couple of videos I've done where I've worn this lipstick, somebody keeps asking me what I'm wearing, and I keep forgetting to go back and say it. So I include it in this video because I do love this, especially on video because it's so pigmented and really comes across, which on video is hard to do. You have to really pile on makeup to make it come across in a video, which is why I usually look like death. Um, but this is the uh, Givenchy Deep Velvet Fuchsia. And I will be honest, when I got this, I thought it was going to be way more pink, um, but it is more of a red, and it literally is so pigmented. So when I first got this, I just smeared it on like a regular lipstick, and I was like, whoa, this ain't going to work. But um, now I just do like a couple little presses, rub my lips together, and it's gorgeous. So this should last me till I'm dead, because I use so little of it, because it's so so pigmented but the color is gorgeous now it is a more of a matte so I always put a clear gloss on top I usually use osmosis's clear lip gloss um, but it does have coconut in it so I had a lot of people ask like what else I would use so today I actually um, use the Dior uh, lip glow oil over top of it and it does go on clear so together they look so pretty and your lips will just be nice and glossy and still really pigmented so that is what I wear on my lips love it and actually in most videos this is what I use again because it's so pigmented the next product I wanted to talk about is this is Jane Iredale this is her Dawn Rose palette I you actually use this every single day it's like a blush bronzer highlighter like all in one and I think it's so beautiful like those colors are just gorgeous it has a pink it has like a copper color a really really light soft pink and I just take my brush swirl it all around and like pound it on my face and I just feel like it makes me look glowy but it gives that nice like young like vibrant like um, like fresh look to the skin because it has that mix of really pretty pinks and reds so I love this I use it every single day I have for a while um, and this is probably one of my favorite makeup products that I have that really covers it for makeup I'm not like a huge makeup person but you know I just have a few products that I really love um, for like the base I don't wear foundation I wear this um, Elastin SPF, I'll put Flex on first in medium, the color science Flex, and I'll put that, because um, I have rosacea, our number one trigger for rosacea is the sun, so I always make sure I'm wearing two layers. I love the color science Flex because it provides a lot more coverage, um, so I put that on first, and then I go back over it with the hydrogen from Elastin. I love this SPF so much. It creates such a glossy, natural glow. So that's what I'm wearing today. 
And then I'm wearing the um, Rose Dawn that I just showed you and the Jane Iredale and then the lipstick and lip gloss. And that is really what I almost do every single day. The thing I want to talk about is my necklace. I got this I got this for myself for Christmas. <laughs> um, I definitely thought about it a lot though. I love feminine pieces. I love feeling sophisticated, but very feminine and classy. And I, it was between this one and then one other one that looked very similar. It was just a smaller chain with um, a chain of pearls. So I just thought it was like so like regal and gorgeous. Um, and I've been so into chains lately, like chain chokers. I just think they look like a statement. Um, I sent these two product, these two necklaces to like everybody and everybody picked this one even though I was leaning towards the other one but now I'm so happy that everybody convinced me of this like it goes with every single outfit and I just feel like it, it's kind of edgy with still staying like really feminine um, so I love this so much and then Again, I'm like the worst person. I never answer anybody, not on purpose. But somebody asked what I was wearing in our holiday photos. Um, and this is the necklace I was wearing. Again, it's a chain. If you're more into gold, you'll love this one. It has a cool heart on it, which stays right up front when you put it on and like hangs like that. Um, and what I like about both of these is like a lot of necklaces, they'll spin and then basically the hook closure is in the front. What you're supposed to sing is like in the back. And that's why I think I'm really starting to like these types of pieces because I don't have to worry about that because for some reason on me, everything spins. Well, with these, both of these closures are actually up front. So I really love these. And this one's a lot more cost effective than the Tiffany's. And so you put it on just like through the heart so you never have to worry about it spinning on you. And I don't know, I just really love these chains. I just think they're so pretty and classy and feminine. So these are the two pieces of jewelry that I've really been loving. Before I get into my last couple things, which are skincare, I wanted to tell you guys what I've been watching on TV because I actually need recommendations um, at night. Like, I have like an hour before bed where I really want to watch something good that like takes my mind off of, you know, stressful things and there has been nothing on TV. So what I recommend, um, which I've already watched them all, is on Netflix, it's The Sinner. There's three seasons and every season's different but it still has the same guy in it, the same like character and then each season he has like a different case and I love that show. So I'm really into drama and like all that kind of like really good like detective shows. So if you have any recommendations for me, I most likely have seen them, but please let me know below because I need a good show. I have Netflix, I have Amazon Prime, I have, I don't know, I have like two other things and I can't find anything to watch. So my recommendation is the center for you guys. So please let me know below what I need to watch because I need something. Um, <laughs> Or I'm gonna go crazy. Okay, my next couple of things are of course skincare. These are products that I have been loving probably since the summer and I just haven't done a favorites video. Of course, this is a back bar size because I use this, my husband uses this, and I use this a lot because you can use it on the eyes, you can use it anywhere, it takes off makeup, it takes off takes off SPF. It's great for um, post procedure. It's great for sensitive skin, rosacea, acne. It's good for all skin types. Um, this is a gentle foaming cleanser from Revision. It's soap free and it feels good. Like I love the lather of this. So I love a really well formulated cleanser and this probably is my favorite cleanser. It's really nourishing to the skin. It does not strip the skin and it actually provides antioxidants. So while you're washing your face, it's infusing antioxidant protection which I absolutely love so that is my current favorite cleanser let me put this down and I feel like I slept on this product because it's been out for like a year now and I just tried it like two weeks ago and I am obsessed this is the PCA skin hyaluronic acid overnight mask if you've watched my favorite videos from a long time ago, I love spraying um, like scents in the shower, like lavender, eucalyptus. I love spraying eucalyptus in the shower. Well, I had no idea, but this is smells like lavender and it literally calms you as soon as you put it on. And when they say it's going to help you sleep, like you immediately are like, oh, like I'm a little sleepy. And for somebody who has insomnia, 
like this has been like homey like i love this um and you actually wake up so glowy this again it is uh, really great it's hydrating if you're somebody that's super dry right now you can put all your serums on you can put your moisturizer on right before bed pop a little bit of this on and you're gonna sleep peacefully like I love this mask it's so fun and then the last thing I want to talk about because every time I use these the next day I get so many compliments on my skin um, so obviously I have to give credit where credit is due the is clinical active peel system I did a video on these maybe a few months ago I'll link it below so you can like learn why these are so awesome but it's a two-step uh, system you can do it a couple times a week you can do this and a moisturizer and you go to bed so this is like a anti-aging exfoliating system and it is so good you will wake up with a total glow you'll wake up with smooth skin and it'll like your skin will just feel good it helps to tighten pores make them look smaller and you will really look so glowy when you use this like even from the first time you'll wake up the next day and be like oh like my skin looks good you look glowy um and it feels really good so like I said, this is a two-part system. It's hydrating. It helps with texture. Over time, it will help with pigment. helps with acne. And But for me, I just love the way it helps with fine lines and wrinkles. And it makes you look so glowy after you use this. So again, I use this a couple times a week. And um, it's just really hydrating and really smoothing for the skin. And I really like getting compliments after I use it. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> okay so uh that was my favorites from the last few months like i said i know it wasn't a lot um but i'm kind of like a creature of habit and these have just kind of worked their way into my life and i've loved them so i wanted to share them with you i'd love to hear what you guys have been loving regarding perfumes and scents and food and skincare and makeup let me know below because i definitely will try them out because i'm always open to trying new things as well thank you guys as always for joining me i love seeing you guys here every sunday if you're not currently following me on instagram i would absolutely love that too i'll also leave a link to our facebook group down below and i will see you guys on our next video next sunday Bye bye